Hello and welcome to another episode of Imperion Galactic Survival. Today I'm joined by another special guest, the Script HD. Hello. Hello guys. How's it going? Uh, it's going good actually. Pretty busy today but thankfully I made it. Yeah. Let's say in time. <laughs> yeah well obviously I do appreciate you turning up and, and doing this. So um, with that being said, so what what got you into Imperium? Uh, so the thing is, I was watching, I'm still doing a lot of um, survival games on YouTube, right? And I think I started back three, four years ago, yeah. probably. And um, yeah, first I thought, ah, this game doesn't look that great. Only one planet, blah, blah, blah. But I thought, you know what? It's only like 15 to 20 bucks. Why not? Just, just give it a try. And yeah, that's where I am right now. <laughs> yeah. What is your favorite thing about Imperion, do you think? So the favorite thing is um, to actually, like, you know, I do a lot of creative builds, right? Yeah. To actually use the builds that I created in-game myself. See, hey, this shouldn't be here. This doesn't work as well as I thought it would. Or like, hey, this is actually really good. And just gives you the, um, how can you say that, the view as a player that yeah. you don't really get when you're just <clears throat> doing creative building or uploading to the workshop, for example. Yeah, a bit like product That's testing. Good. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. So do you have an all-time favorite build? I actually have one. It's probably the ship that I use, like, every playthrough and it's the before it was the hauler the scar hauler yeah and i just repainted it renamed it to the husk and that's just my go to every playthrough pretty much but from another author it, author it's probably the wayfarer st from j rebel okay I think, I think i used that one a lot when i didn't do any creative building or you know, it was just subscribing to workshop items and just using them. Yeah. That's my go-to. So what would you say inspires you to build? So <laughs> that's a bit of a funny story. Um, when I started, I of course, I tried out the whole creative thing and I sucked at it. <laughs> I it, it's, well, it was like I was building stuff. It looked okay. Didn't work well in game. Then it just kind of killed my uh, motivation pretty much so i took like a year of a break yeah then i gave it another go just got into it a bit more and more and more and then yeah that's how i ended up where i am right now pretty much i think a few months after that i actually started doing full-time nah, i say full-time but doing full-time workshop items workshop goals okay so your your early stuff was that, uh, uh, I won't say rubbish, but um, I'll say like a flying brick. <laughs> uh, not really a brick. I actually tried to do a lot of shaping back then as well. Yeah. But I mean, <laughs> it kind of is still the same. <clears throat> Sorry, it's still the same as it is right now, but I preferred the looks over the efficiency. <laughs> But back then it was much worse. Yeah, yeah, I, I know, I know what you mean. So, obviously, your your faction, the Wastelanders, is like your your idea, so to speak. How did you come up with the idea for that faction? Um, <laughs> um it was actual idea that we, I, I say we, the my viewers and me, um, had on stream because I really liked the. Uh, the look of the uh, sorry, uh, the pirate faction, yeah, because they have different color schemes. And I think I was building the sand crawler, the my second POI that I made, and I really liked the look of it and like the colors and everything. I saw, I, I thought, you know what, this might be a cool like a faction, and then I just was playing around. Like I played a lot of, uh, not play. I built a lot of Wasteland series ships before I actually made the faction. And I thought, you know what? Why not give it a try? Because back then, uh, Hack and Divers Arc 
was uh, getting a faction in game. Yeah. But you know, let's give it a try. Let's see what like the people on the forum say and think, and that's how it ended up as it is right now, pretty much. Yeah. I mean, I know you've got the law and everything. Um, <clears throat> and you've also got your POI challenge, which I will link in the description if anybody's interested in checking that out, because you're still essentially building the faction, even though it's been added to the game in that sense. So yeah. when you were building the sand crawler, is that also how you came up with the color scheme? Uh, yes, because I, um, I actually like the whole, you know, there we have the arid planet and everything. It's kind of sandy desert type planet right and i yeah i kind of like that and i thought you know this does fit like camouflage basically and the colors they just look rustical and used and i really dig that type of like um immersion i guess and that's pretty much why i used the colors yeah yeah well obviously i have contributed some builds to the faction so it is an interesting color scheme to work with once you you the same like when i was talking with uh, jay randall it from my perspective in building it's entirely different building your own stuff to building i'll say like somebody else's faction in their theme and their style and their colors uh, i mean have you ever have you built for any other faction um the only thing that i built for another faction was well Let's say let's not say faction, but the abandoned POIs. Yeah, I guess legacy you could say. And there was just only one POI that I built, but it was it was a challenge <laughs> because you get out of your comfort zone. Yeah, and but that helps to um <coughs> to like expand your view pretty much. I guess you could say. Yeah, and yeah. Yeah, I mean, I, like for me at the moment, obviously, I'm I'm really struggling with Krell. Oh yeah, yeah, they are one. So, uh, <laughs> how can I say that? Um, they are special. Let's say that it is really difficult to not, yeah not duplicate, but like do the whole scheme. Yeah, I struggle too when I build like um, the Krell or Decimator. I think was it was called. Yeah. Uh, yeah, because you don't know. Hey. Are the people gonna like it, or is even Jay Randall? What is he gonna say, for example, because you screwed up or whatever? So it is really a, quite a challenge. So, do you have any pointers or advice for other builders out there? Yes, the first thing is don't get don't get frustrated because something's not working, like I did, for example, when I started out, because. You f you will definitely at some point hit hit, hit a point um, where you just don't know what to do. I still do. For example, when I'm building, I sometimes have like two, three hours where I'm just stuck at one little spot on the ship, for example. Yeah. I just don't know what to do. Best thing is stop building, do something else, because if you get more into it, you get more frustrated and then you just completely mess up. Other thing is to pretty much reverse engineer popular builds. Like, of course, we all know Jay Ren, right? Spanch and other people. Just, for example, take their builds, see, hey, what did they do here? What kind of shapes they used here? How did they do that? Yeah. And try to include that those in your own stuff. And this way build your own building style i guess yeah what i also like to do is play with unusual block combinations where you would think like hey the, normally this wouldn't fit with that one block but maybe if i expand it this way or do this oh sorry um it would look pretty good for example you know yeah i mean i know i know some of it is i'll say trial and error until exactly. you get to the point where you're happy with it. it it is interesting to hear different builders perspectives on you know they're, they're, i'll say their advice to other builders because as you say you know like randall and spange and, and they're obviously others without being naming favorites that are you know really really popular on the workshop 
Yeah. Um, pretty much. Yeah. <laughs> you yeah. <little> nail. <laughs> yeah. So, um, what else do you do besides gaming? So my life is pretty much I work, I sleep, and I game or like stream. Yeah. That's my life so far. And because I work late, um, I tend to play games late as well. And yeah. So pretty much uh, to sum it up, work, sleep, game. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> Repeat. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> so is there a feature that you would love to see in the vanilla game that isn't in game at the moment? Yes. Um, because I am building, I mean, you too, you as well, a lot of POIs and I like to immerse the player in that one specific POI, for example, give him that feeling, Hey, this is cool. I re I'm really feeling it. I would love to have like sound blocks where you add, where you could add custom sounds to specific parts of a POI. Yeah. Like, hey, in this room you have this sound, or you, for example, you have a big room with a lot of NPCs. You could add this little this marketplace sound where people are chatting, talking. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, like subtle just background to, noise to make exactly, it feel just, more alive. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Are there any block types, or we'll say other building additions that you would like to see added? Um, my first thought was like hydraulics and such because yeah. I am playing Space Engineers for a bit now. But after playing Space Engineers, I'm actually fine without <laughs> <laughs> because <clears throat> my let's say my brain hurts. <laughs> yeah, and other than that, not really to be honest. I mean, I'm pretty open to everything that's getting added and try to make use of it in my own way yeah i mean i know obviously in one of my previous videos i mentioned um the their, the devs released their milestones for this year you know so they're planning to rework npcs and and some various other bits and bobs but other than i'll say more block shapes and maybe some additional deco items but some of those for me would be like i'll say personal to like you know the ravagers there, there was a few deco items i thought oh that would have been really handy if i'd have had that yeah I, instead of using obviously i you know i used what was available but you know i did look at some of my builds and think oh if i had you know a, a one block skull for example that would have been a lot easier to work with than than the current four block you know two by two by two version yeah but they're, they're just minor things really so if you weren't gaming and youtubing and and streaming what do you think you would be doing oh, that that is a bit difficult um probably probably just work more <laughs> yeah like i mean i sometimes have uh like times where i just don't want to play or just don't want to stream because you just don't feel like it right yeah no i, I, I know exactly what you mean you have a lot of work or you're just too tired to do anything and well, what i do is pretty much just lay in my bed watch some videos or just read stuff <laughs> that's it yeah but yeah i don't know what i would really be doing if i wouldn't like do the whole streaming gaming thing um with regards to like your, your twitch and youtube have have you got like a favorite comment that you've ever received in the in the comments or the chat um not really i mean i'm more of a twitch guy than i am a youtube guy yeah I mean, I do have a few videos, but those are just some random stuff and maybe one tutorial, that's it. But in regards of comments, not really on Twitch or YouTube, but I had one on the workshop of a guy um, that he was complaining. I mean, to me, I don't see people complaining if it's, um, if it's like, um, how, how do you say that? Uh, not aggressive commenting, I guess but um negative yeah negative thank you yeah okay if it's not negative i'm completely fine with that that's because that helps you improvise and uh, get better as well right yeah but for negative comments i had one guy saying hey a starter ship shouldn't have this amount of iron and this and that and i was pretty much just having a discussion with him <laughs> 
uh, in my in the workshop comment section, uh, bro, the build. If you don't like the build or how it is set up, just don't use it, right? Yeah. There are a lot of other people that like it or not like it, and they are not complaining. If you don't like it, you, the workshop is completely full with other good creators, and you could just use their ships, but no need to negatively comment on something. I mean, of course, it's fine if you <clears throat> want to let me know, hey, this didn't work as it should be. I'm completely fine with that, but if yeah, you are no, just I, I, I understand what you mean. I mean, if somebody says, oh, you know, I've checked this out and there's an air leak, or, you know, oh, if, if you do this and this, it improves the, the pitch or the yawn and doesn't cost you any more materials kind of thing. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. But he was just straight up just complaining and complaining, saying, hey, 2,000 iron is not good for a starter ship or whatever. I mean, I, <laughs> I got, I saw this, like, I didn't really let it go to myself you know what i mean yeah i was just kind of, let's say laughing laughing while discussing with him but it's still one of my favorites even if it's not something positive i guess <laughs> yeah no I, I, I understand what you mean so um with your 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 twitch because obviously you say you, you do that a lot more than you do youtube have you ever had any setbacks with regards to to streaming and such like um yes it was more like me getting burnt out yeah. on pretty much everything like gaming the whole streaming thing that's why i took like two times a break of three to four months and i don't know i because when i started out i tend to like just non-stop streaming every day when i woke up stream even if it was just like for two three hours just stream 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 and that kind of got me burned out. And other than that, though, nothing really. It's just me being doing something too much and then yeah. taking a long break from it. Yeah. So, in other words, it would probably be better if you, say, paced yourself a bit. Exactly. exactly. Yeah. I mean, back then, there was still this whole lockdown thing. That's why I had all the time. I yeah. didn't have to go to work and everything. Now the work, my work is kind of helping me with it because back then I had like a stream every uh, like six days a week. Now yeah. I'm doing like two or three times a week. Yeah. And I think that helps really well with me not getting burned out. Is there, <clears throat> with regards to streaming and stuff, is there any advice that you would give to somebody starting out? Um. Yes. First of all, uh, don't get demotivated because, for example, a lot of, lot of, not a lot of people are watching. That's just how everyone starts out. You will have like months with only like one, two, three viewers, and that's completely fine. As long as you don't change yourself and try to be someone you are not yourself pretty much. Yeah. Just to, imp let me say, uh, let's say just to impress people. That's not a good thing. Just be yourself. Do whatever you want to do and what you love and people would get will get used to it another major thing is the majority of people watching you are let's say lurkers right they don't chat they don't interact with you except watching you don't try to force people to interact with you because that will turn them off a lot of people are watching you while for example playing the game themselves and just leave it on the background yeah and if yeah if they like you for example if you don't change it, they like you they will just you will have that constant for example four or five viewers only not no, not or not only but mainly from lurkers lurkers are pretty much the guys that are i don't want to say saving your stream but that are contributing the most to your stream yeah, no, I, I understand what you mean. They 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 just sit back and watch. Don't normally yeah. engage. Yeah, well, it, it, I mean, the same I guess is could be said for YouTube as well because, you know, it, you you could have like a thousand views on a video and you might have eighteen likes and two comments. <laughs> yeah, because <laughs> most people just don't bother. They might have liked the video and they'll watch it and then it's like they move on to the next. 
Yeah. Right. So in terms of equipment, is there any advice on equipment for somebody wanting to stream that you you personally would recommend? So um, what I'm using right now, for example, is the Blue Yeti microphone. Yeah. And it is not that expensive. It is like, I don't know, 110, 120 euros. And it's a really, a really good mi microphone. I mean, of course, you have to play around with the settings. Maybe even get voice meter to even get further into the whole uh, microphone thing, right? Yeah. But just from the base, it is a really good microphone that I would definitely recommend when you start out. Even if you are doing a lot of streaming already, then a good wireless headset, because you don't want your cable to hang on your side and just get uh, stuck on it or whatever. A really good camera if you intend to do like face cam. What I use is the Logitech C920 and it only cost me like 60, 70 euros and it is a really good quality. You can play around a lot with it. You can you even use a great, uh, even use a green, uh, green screen without any issues. Yeah. And good lightning. Like I have an O light setup that is shining into my face <laughs> um, but it really helps with my green screen in the background you don't have those little uh, little bits that you sometimes see on other people just from the green screen because it is not really a uh, good uh, lit up yeah other than that just your basic game equipment what you always use i mean for a keyboard maybe something that is not too loud because you will you can hear it on my streams too. You you will hear the whole pressing the buttons. Yeah. Right. But yeah, other than that, just your standard gaming setup that you use normally. So is is there anything else you'd like to add? Um, to the uh, equipment thing or in general? Uh, in general, sorry. Um, in general, um, <laughs> now I'm saying the arm thing. <laughs> yeah. Uh, in regards to the wastelanders, as you said, I'm still looking for POIs and everything else. Yeah. Like POIs, OPVs and such. I would really appreciate if if you if you guys would give it a try. And I'm open for any feedback or if you have any questions, even not uh, only for the wastelander POIs and everything, in, just in general, feel free to hit me up. I like to help people, and other than that, not much actually. Okay, yeah. well, I'll obviously uh, if you're if you're okay with it, I'll put the link to your Discord in the description as well, and oh, yeah. and the link to the POI challenge on the forum. Really appreciate you again taking the time out. So thank you for doing this today. Uh, thank you for having me. Well, you're you're welcome, and obviously I hope I hope the listeners will enjoy it. enjoy it. Um, I have so as well. <laughs> so that's everything for today, folks. So thanks for listening. That's uh, bye from me and bye from Script. Yeah, bye. Hope to see you guys one day in in the uh, maybe Animal server. I don't know. <laughs> bye. Bye bye.